Hey everyone, uh, Matthew Paulson here with MarketBeat. I am going to show you now how to research dividend stocks with MarketBeat. Um, I am a big fan of dividend stocks. Um, I wrote a book called Automatic Income that teaches you how to do dividend investing. Um, uh, there's a free copy of that on our website. Certainly check that out. But I'm going to show you some of the tools that we have in available to research dividend stocks on our website. So this is the main dividend announcements page. You can see um, new dividend announcements here. Um, we have a new report every day. It's updated as soon as we get the information, it's here. You can filter by country. We've got dividends for the US, Canada, and the United Kingdom. You can say, I only want to see large cap companies' dividends. And then if you only want to see it for a certain sector, you can do that. Um, when a company raises their dividend, it'll have this nice little plus um, icon that says, oh, the dividend was 90 cents. Now it's 93 cents. They raised their dividend. That's good news as well as the ex-dividend date. Of course, you need to own the stock prior to that date to get the dividend. The record date is the date they stick it in the books, and then the payable date is the date that you get the money. Um, we've got a lot of different things here in the dividend news, um, or the dividend section. Uh, we do have a dividend newsletter that will give you uh, new announcements, ex-dividend dates, and uh, some dividend stock ideas in your inbox every day. It's a free newsletter. You're welcome to sign up for it. Uh, we looked at today's dividend announce announcements. Um, we've got a screener. So, you know, a common criteria for dividends, you know, you want a dividend of, say, 3%. You want a payout ratio of 75, less than 75%. That means less than 75% of the company's earnings are going to their dividend. You want a dividend growing by, say, 5% per year. And we want companies that have been growing their dividend for at least 10 years. You know, a good basic screen for dividends, stocks. You know, here there are 20 companies that meet this criteria. Um, a lot of good dividend payers here, um, a lot of usual suspects. Um, you know, Target, IBM, uh, General Mills, um, you know, Alliant Energy, you know, Black Hills Corp, and my home state of South Dakota. Uh, a lot of solid dividend, dividend payers here. So if you have some specific criteria that you're looking for, if you want a company that does monthly dividends, or they're trading near the 52-week low, or you want a uh, certain market cap or industry, or you only want strong buy stocks, um, you can you can do that as well. Uh, we're going to move on here. That's probably the most powerful thing we have in our dividend tool set. Uh, we've got an ex-dividend calendar. Um, you want to see which companies are going ex-dividend. You want to play the dividend and buy it right before the ex-date, sell it afterwards. I don't know if that's a strategy that works or not. Uh, I've never really tried it. I don't believe it works, but some people like to play that, so that's there if that's something you want to do. We've got a list of high yield dividend stocks. Of course you should not buy um, a stock just because it has a high dividend. Um, typically companies with super high dividends, the dividend doesn't stick around. Um, obviously a 52% dividend yield is not sustainable, so just be, be aware of that. Uh, dividend aristocrats. Um, so these are companies that have raised their dividend um, every year for the last 25 years. We've got a list of these. Kind of sort all of these columns. Um, so you can see, oh, AT&T, you know, they've had their dividend for who knows how long, but they've got a dividend yield of six. Who's at the payout is, what the payout ratio, how fast their dividend is growing. So say I only want to see really fast growing ones. Uh, PPG Industries, they're growing their dividend at 9% a year. That's a good sign. Then we also have the dividend achievers list, which is a list of stocks that have raised their dividend for at least 10 years in a row. That's a good sign that the company is committed to their dividend. Uh, and then special dividends. So these are you know unusual dividends that the company is paying out. Uh, we've had a couple of people ask for this report, so we added it to the website. So when a company announces you know more you know a dividend that's not just their usual quarterly dividend, it'll show up here. Um, we also have a full copy of my book, Automatic Income, on the website. So you can read the whole whole 200-page book here right on marketbeat.com if you know that is something you want to do and you really want to research how to buy dividend stocks. You can read the whole book for free on our website. And then if you want like a if you want a paperback version uh, that exists, um, go to automaticincomebook.com. Um, it should be really cheap. I think it's like 10 bucks for the uh, uh, here's my author page. Um, uh, you can get a paperback for ten bucks, the audio book for seven fifty. Um, Audible act or Amazon actually took, you know, kicked off, kicked us off Kindle uh, for this book because we put it on our website for free. They didn't seem to like that. But if you really want the Kindle version, you can scroll down and grab this wealth book building book bundle. 
um, and read it in there. I think it's only like six bucks, so it's it's there if you really want to get the Kindle version. But you know, why not just read it for free on our website? Um, so certainly check that out. If you want to tell it, if anybody ever asks you how do you invest in dividend stocks, send them to our dividend investing guide, which is just the full copy of my book. Uh, certainly check that out. And then if you want to uh, look up dividends for a specific company, um, you can go to look up company dividends and you type in the name. Uh, I've been using Wells Fargo as my example, so we'll do that again. We'll click on the dividend tab. We see that their annual dividend is $1.56 per share. With today's price, that's a yield of 2.86%. They've been growing their dividend by 4.5% a year over the last three years. And we've got some different payout ratios. Um, so, you know, we have a payout ratio based off you know, the last 12 months of earnings, what this four years analysts, what analysts think this four years estimates are going to be for earnings, what it's going to be for next year, and then the one that most dividend investors care about is cash flow. They want to make sure there's sufficient cash flow to cover the dividend, so we make sure that is in there. We show how long the company's been raising their dividend. Uh, Wells Fargo has raised their dividends every year since 2012 when they came out of the financial crisis. So we show if it's a monthly dividend or a quarterly dividend, and then kind of the full breakdown of information there. So if you are a dividend investor, MarketBeat has a lot of different tools that you can use. Um, different, uh, you know, the screener is probably the most powerful tool, but there's lots of other reports that will help you identify dividend stocks as well. I think that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching.